Hi students, we are going to do some multiplication subitizing. I will quickly show you some pictures. Your job is to think about groups of or multiplication and tell us how many dots you saw and how did you know. All right, here's the first one. Think about how many groups you saw, how many equal groups, and how many were in each group. Here's one more look. How many did you see and how did you know? For this one, you probably noticed that there were two groups and that there was five in each group. So we know that two groups of five is the same as 10. Two times five equals 10. Okay, you need something a little more challenging. Here's your next one. Whoa, that was a lot of dots. I think I know, but let's take one more look. How many did you see and how did you know? Even though there are a lot of dots on this one, you probably noticed that it was a full 10 frame. So you knew that there were 10 groups. And did you see that there was five in each group, just like dice pattern? So I know that 10 groups of five is the same as 50. It's like, um, I could think of it as five groups of 10. Five tens is 50, or 10 groups of five, 50. Even though that was a lot of dots, you probably figured that out pretty efficiently. Let's get on with some more challenges. Did you see that one? Here's one last look. How many did you see and how did you know? Did you see that there were four groups of five for this one? Many of you might have just known that four times five is the same as 20. If you didn't know that yet, you were probably using our strategy to make friendly tens. So you probably saw two groups of 10, sorry, two groups of five, you know that's 10. So we know this is two groups of five, we have a 10 there, and another two groups of five, that's another 10. So we know 10 plus 10 is the same as 20. So two groups of five plus another two groups of five, that's the same as four groups of five. 20. When we're thinking about this without the dots, we usually draw four groups of five like this. And we use a similar strategy. We make a 10, and we make a 10, then we know that we have 20. And you can see that strategy here. We put two groups of fives together to make a 10, another two groups of five together to make a 10, and we know that's 20 dots all together. Okay, you are doing really well. Let's keep going and get some more challenges. Here's the next one. Hmm. How many groups and how many in each group? Here's one more look. How many did you see and how did you know? For this one, you probably saw that it was eight groups of five. You might have been thinking there's eight, sorry, four groups on top and there's four groups on the bottom. So that makes eight groups. Let me get my pen here. We know that eight groups of five, maybe we know already that it's 40. If you didn't know, you might have been thinking, okay, two groups of five is 10, another two groups of five is 10, another two groups of five is 10, and my last two groups of five is also 10. So you were probably thinking 10, 10, 10, 
10, that's the same as 40. So a quicker way of thinking of it this way. Two groups of 10, that was two groups of five, that was our first circle. And then you were thinking another two groups of five, another two groups of five, and right here, our last two groups of five. You broke it apart into partial products. Remember the product is the number you get when you multiply two numbers or multiply two factors. So we have all of our partial products circled here, and when we add those together, it's 40 dots. And with enough practice, you'll just know it. Eight times five is 40. Okay, I have another challenge for you. Think about how many dots you see. You probably don't need it, but I'll give you one more look. How many did you see and how did you know? For this one, you probably saw again that it is six groups of five. There are so many different ways you could figure this out. Many of you might have just known six groups of five, but again, we could try our um, grouping to make tens. So we know two groups of five is 10, two groups of five is 10, two groups of five is 10, and we know that that's three tens. So we know six groups of five is 30. If I wanted to break it apart and really show my thinking, I could show two groups of five. That's my first circle of two groups. And then I took another two groups of five, my second circle. And last, another two groups of five. And when I add them together, that is 30. A more efficient strategy I sometimes see in the classroom I'll use red to show you this one. When students don't know six groups of five, they usually already know four groups of five. So take a look here. If I know four groups of five, I'm pretty good with that fact, that's 20, then I really only have two more groups of five. And I know that that's a 10. So 20 and 10 is the same as 30. So I know four groups plus two groups, it still gets me six groups. You can see in my 10 frame, I still have six different groups, but it's a little bit more efficient than going 10, 10, 10. And once you get really efficient, you'll just go straight to six times five is 10. Or, sorry, six times five is 30. Silly Mrs. Carr. You did amazing thinking today, mathematicians. Great job thinking about friendly strategies to figure out your groups of. If you already know your groups of five, that is awesome. That will help you with your six facts, your seven facts. It can be really helpful. I'm really proud of you, and I will see you soon.